What's good? This is Marcus DeFingas uh, back at it again with another video. In this video, we're going to go over some uh, orchestral libraries on the iPad. So some of my favorite um, orchestral uh, libraries, uh, mainly focusing on strings. I will uh, make note of some of the ones that do like horns and choirs as well. Um, but we're going to go over those right here. So here we are. Um, I'm going to use Beatmaker 3 as the main DAW. Um, uh, but most of the apps I'm going to show you are third party apps that you can integrate within uh, Beatmaker 3 or Cubasis or whatever uh, DAW you're using on the iPad. So we're going to start um, in uh, uh, alphabetical order um, from uh, uh, the ones I have, and there may be more out there, and I'll try to highlight some of the ones that um, are also uh, uh, not the ones I use, but some of the other ones that are out there. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with BeatHawk here. I already have things loaded um, just to make things quicker for the video. Um, BeatHawk is an incredible... Uh, 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 app that you can get to download all kinds of libraries. Um, they have uh, African libraries, ambient, uh, gypsy type sounds, guitars. So if you're looking for um, strings, all you got to do is go through their library. Um, these are in-app purchases, um, but I think they're as low as some of them are like uh, $4.99, $5.99. Um, so not too expensive. Um, and sometimes you can catch uh, deals where they do 50% off the in-app in purchases. So let's go into some of the sounds here. I'm going to scroll down to uh the first one that i see is um they do have the brass ensembles there uh, i will actually run through uh one or two of those i won't um load them up but i'll i'll just tap them. so you can hear this french horns they have trombones trumpets um brass riffs here Um, they have some choirs here. Uh, um, and I've used those choirs on uh, some stuff. Uh, we're going to get to, um, this is orchestral, but you have classical percussion. Uh, we're going to get to one of these. Mallets is also orchestral. Um, string ensembles, here we go. Uh, you click on string ensembles, instruments, all strings ensemble. I will load uh, this one up. Um, Piccato. Uh, this other Piccato. Uh, string sustain. Uh, string trimmer. Um, so you, as you can see, it sounds really great. Um, cello ensemble, I'll run through a couple of these. Uh, these look like some effects. Glissando down. Let's see if that... So you can do that for some like scary stuff. Here. Uh, really some great sounds. Uh, let's go to violin. I won't run through all these, but that's string ensembles. 2D orchestra. A um, little bit more of a fuller sound. Uh, we'll give a... Let's go to sustain. To... I'm spending way too much time here. Um, but the 2D Orchestra, these are all in-app purchases again. And then uh, Woodwinds, we'll go with Woodwinds. Uh, you have clarinets, flutes, and oboes. Um, and I believe there may be more that you can purchase. Uh, usually, if I'm looking for a specific type of sound, um, I'll go to the Beat, Beat Hawk app and see if they have an in-app purchase or if there's a sound similar in there that I can download and use in my productions. Uh, next up is Decent Samples. This is a new addition to the uh, iOS um, uh, platform and uh, they have a uh, app called Decent Sampler, um, but they also have these sounds released on uh, desktop computers. So if you're looking to use these sounds on your desktop, um, you can look into those. Um, Decent Sampler does have some in-app purchases, uh, but here's the uh, app here, the interface. You click browse and then you can see the libraries there. 
uh, and you can see my iPad having fun. There we go. Um, uh, but you can see some of them are free. So Dave Choir right there, zero, zero, zero. Uh, next to that, you have Metal Cups, which is nine ninety nine. Banjo Ukulele is free. Box Violin is free. Funnel Harp is nine ninety nine. Viola Ensemble, nine ninety nine. Indie Bass, nine ninety nine. And Glockenspiel. And then once you download them, if you go to My Libraries, you'll see the ones you have listed there. I only have the free ones so far, um, but they sound great. I will go over the choir, so I will load that up. And to load it, you can either go to My Library and uh, actually you can go to my library and select it um, i'm trying to get to dave choir there we go or you can go to the sample store dave choir you hit get and then it'll download and then it'll also open up but we're going to start with the, the choir here if i can get that interface back open dave choir hold on i'm getting a little glitch we'll load it back up we're gonna go to decent sampler load browse there we go and then you can balance the ooh and ah you can balance the tone reverb um, let's go to that box violin add some reverb Um, so really uh, great sound, really emotional. Uh, Glockenspiel, I won't go over that one. Um, and I believe there was, in his sample store there, there is uh, the Viola Ensemble, if you want to get that. I don't have that, um, but the sounds are great. Um, so that is um, decent samples. Next up, uh, let me mute this. We have iSymphonic, which is almost like the... Uh, the OG for orchestral libraries on the iPad. Um, they have a lot of sounds, but they are really expensive. I believe all, all in, you're spending maybe a couple hundred dollars to get the in-app purchases. Um, and actually, I will go to this library standalone uh, just so you can see what um, that uh, purchase process. If you're looking into getting those types of libraries and sounds, um, this is the uh, iSymphonic library here. Um, and once everything loads up, it does take a second, depending on how fast your, your iPad um, system is and your OS and everything. Uh, it might take a second to load up, a second to load up all the sounds and things. Um, but once you're there, the sound you have do uh, downloaded and bought um, in the app, you can go to sound up here and you can scroll through um, those sounds. And the ones you don't have, you will see not installed in parentheses under the, under the name. So you see not installed. So some of them I do have installed. I have this Vento pack here. I have the uh, Vo Voce or Voce pack. Um, and then some of them I don't have. I have this Aulos, the names I, I really can't pronounce, but um, I have those packs there. And then if you want to uh, load one up, you just uh, click on it and it'll do its thing. And then actually, let me see if this one's playing. We'll change it and see if it's that. I think I have to load it up in uh, BeatMaker 3. Um, but to buy them, uh, let's get out of here. We'll load something up. Causing me glitches on my iPad. If you click this box uh, down the arrow pointing to the box at the top right, um, this is where you can uninstall apps. You can get details uh, for. Let's click on this one. You can see this one's eleven ninety nine. So it's definitely and it takes up a gig. So it's definitely um, not cheap. And then you have uh, all of these packs here. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, fifteen um, different packs you can purchase. So if they're all, you know, around the $10 range, uh, you can be spending $150, $200. I think some of them are more like between $10 and $20. Um, but I have some of those installed, some of them I don't. Uh, but I'm going to close this and uh, stick with Beatmaker 3 here. Um, we'll go back to this session and we'll go to iSymphonic. Uh, and it takes a while to load up even in Beatmaker 3. <laughs> But as you can hear, it's a really great full sound. Let's go to Staccato. Uh, again, that thing has to load up. Um, very nice sound. Uh, I'll do full strings. Um, and because of the loading time, usually what I do is if I use this app, as soon as I'm done cre creating a part for it, I just convert it to audio just so I don't have to deal with the loading. Reload. Oh, that's really nice. Um, I would probably add some reverb to it just because when you when you um, stop playing the sound immediately dies out um, 
Um, but that is iSymphonic, a very, very powerful app. Um, I haven't used it as much lately just because I've used the other ones um, more frequently. Um, this hasn't really been updated as far as the OS and things. The sounds are incredible. So um, if you do want to use it, it's still there. Um, it's just a, a huge uh, purchase um, to consider. Um, next is Pearson Platinum by Gospel Musicians. Um, it's an incredible uh, uh, app with a bunch of sounds. Um, it's a rompler actually that has uh, all kinds of piano sounds, electric piano, synths, uh, choirs, woodwinds. Um, for uh, orchestral sounds, I've probably been using this app the most recently, um, especially over the last, uh, I would say, six months or so. Whenever I want a string sound, I usually go here first. Um, and uh, just because of um, the sounds in here are incredible. I like the way that the layout, the app is laid out. So um, you have uh, in the factory content, you can also buy expansions, but in the factory uh, install, you get um, some pianos, electric grands, um, organs, guitars, uh, bass, and I'm gonna start with the string solo here. This is a cello. Uh, cello two. And you can see how fast it loads. It loads really fast compared to isophonic. Uh, you have a contra bass. I'll just play one of those. Uh, solo viola. Uh, we'll do solo violin. Then we'll do a violin section, and I'll expand this. Um, so I really actually don't use the solos as much, but I do use strings ensembles. I use any number of these at any given moment. Um, I'll just play a couple of them, but these are my favorite strings so far on the iPad. This is Baroque. We'll go to Big Rich Orchestra. So with strings, especially if it's a, a slow song, I really love um, strings that have a fade in. And on this app in particular, you can adjust that by adjusting the attack uh, under amp here. So um, I'm gonna play the fade in. And then if I lower the attack, it just comes right in. But with strings, I like to have some sort of fade in. Depending on the song you're working on, you might want it faster or you might want to fade it in. If it's uh, more emotional. Um, but let's keep going through the sounds. We're gonna go to, uh, uh, let's go to Cathedral Strings here. Uh, we'll go to Chamber Hall. Also, I forgot to mention this app, is this isn't a pure synth app review, but they also have, have built-in effects in the app. So they have reverbs, delays that you can adjust. Um, I won't get into that this time, um, but the orchestras in here are incredible. Um, let's jump down to Lush Hall Strings. Movie score. Uh, we'll go to rich strings. This is awesome. Uh, strings recital, string recital. Uh, I want to play the swells one. So that one's more of a like washy, uh, almost synth type, um, but it's incredible. Uh, then I'll end with your lush. I think I use this one the most. And we'll do a fade in on that. Um. Um, and again, you have, uh, I won't go over all the sounds, um, but those are some of the string sounds. You do have uh, some uh, choir sounds. If you go to voice and choirs, and uh, you have all these. Uh, this B scat one is incredible. I love that. I love that sound. Um, we'll do the boys choir worship. Jazz scat I also like. <laughs> you can get to uh, some Pharrell type vibes with that. Um, uh, oohs and odds. I won't go over all the choir sounds. You have some brass sounds. I'll do a couple of those here. Uh, we'll do 
brass solo. Uh, I'll go to some of the woodwinds. Saxophone. I'm not playing it like a saxophone player would play it, obviously. I'm doing it more as a keyboard player. Um, let's go to uh, pizzicato strings. And then we'll do some of the woodwinds. Um, but yeah, uh, I could play that all day. Um, I, I need to get out of that. Uh, Pearson's Platinum has all kinds of sounds. Um, and uh, I would definitely say look into that one if you're looking into something. Um, I believe that's just a one-time purchase. You can buy expansion packs, but the, all those sounds come built in. Next is Rolly Noise um, Melody. Uh, I believe there's one sound in here called Strings and Horns. Um, if you don't know about Rolly, they make uh, a lot of like the blocks pad. They have a Rolly keyboard that has... Um, interesting way of inputting data into your system uh let's see did my app uh, sort of mess up there we go um and for this one i want to go to uh uh, it's called strings and horns. So I'm going to look for strings and horns. And on the right here, you sort of see the, the category names of sounds. So if you if you buy these kits, um, you can uh, they are, they are in-app purchases for Rolly Noise, um, and they range in price. Um, but if you buy them, you can look for what it says orchestral. So like um, that one, Beauty String says orchestral. Here's how that sounds. Let me make sure I... I, I... So that's almost, uh, that has like a muffled strings type sound. Um, let's look for some more orchestral or strings. Uh, drama brass, here we go. Looks like, let me make sure I'm not, yep, looks like that's layered with some other strings there. Uh, and then let's go to Final Frontier, says orchestral. Let's see what that sounds like. So it sounds like a harp uh, with a fade in on strings. Uh, let's see what else here. Legato Orchestra. Uh, one other thing, so as I load these up, at the top you can see what kit in Rolly, um, what pack they're part of. So you can download those packs um, from the uh, Rolly app. Uh, so this is part of the hybrid acoustic Rolly uh, uh, pack. Nice full sound there. Uh, Mythic Key Layer, part of the Wizardly Ways by Jordan Rudess. So that's basically like a piano uh, underlayered with some pads. Ocean's Lament. Uh, beautiful sounds, man. It's incredible. Uh, all from the iPad. Solo Strings. Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, strings and horns. As long as I play the right chord. Uh, string section. Uh, and we'll end on the dark one. So that's some sort of like a muted uh, string, sounds like. Um, more of a synthy type sound. Um, but again, that's Rolly uh, Noise Melody. I believe the Rolly Seaboard 5D app also has the same uh, uh, sounds. And I want to say if you buy on one app, it also transfers to the other app. But don't quote me on that. But Rolly Noise um, or Seaboard 5D, check those apps out and look for those orchestral and string categories. Um, next up is Sample Tank by IK Multimedia. Uh, again, this has in-app purchases. I don't have all the apps myself. Um, but this is some of the, uh, I don't have all the sounds, but this is some of the sounds. As you can see, you can get some more violins, some more harps in there. Um, you can get some brass sounds. Uh, you can get uh, some woodwinds um, and uh, other percussion elements in a choir. So let's start with some of the violin string orc one. Actually, let's see. There we go. And we'll go to dark string. 
sweep orchestra. More like a pad sound sustain. Dance. Viol four violins. Uh, and cello. Uh, some of the brass sounds here, symphonic brass. Uh, sustained brass. We'll do some of the woodwinds, synth flute. Uh, synth flute, that was breathy flute. Um, and we'll do some of the choir sounds. Combi choir. Pop vocals pad. Uh, distant transmitter. That's more of an effect. Uh, that one's mod wheel. We'll transform the sound. Um, so yeah, that's Sample Tank by IK Multimedia. Um, I actually don't use that a lot. Uh, um, one, because I like using AUV3 apps, and that is an IA, uh, IAA app. Um, and I like AUV3 apps just for the nature of my workflow. Um, and then uh, that's all as far as the apps, but uh, there are also sounds built into Beatmaker 3. Um, I also think there are sounds built in, into Cubasis um, that you can use for orchestral sounds. So um, I'm gonna just focus on Beatmaker 3, but some of my favorite sounds I've uh, sort of starred, uh, if I go to Load Bank, um, some of the starred sounds here, like uh, the Byte Strings Piano, and I don't exactly remember where these sounds came from. Um, it could be in-app purchases within Beatmaker 3, uh, it could be third-party apps. Um, but you can see bright strings um, right there. I'm going to load that up and give you an idea of how that sounds. Definitely more synthy. Uh, we'll go to dark strings. Uh, another more synthy sound. Uh, obsidian strings. Uh, I'll load that one up. I really like that one. It, it reminds me of uh, how uh, some of the Spitfire Audio Labs um, string sound with uh, some of the uh, Soltasto strings. That gives you some of that airy uh, vibes on the, on the strings. Um, and then I will uh, I'll go over this Y-me strings, Why me strings, sorry. Uh, and then Teata strings, or t Tita, Teata. Um, again, there's so much. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share uh, a secret thing I did. I actually, this is a custom thing I did. Um, on the computer, there's a free orchestra called, uh, Sun by Sunday Score, called the Free Orchestra and the Sustained Strings. Um, I took some time, uh, I believe it was a year, maybe two years ago, um, and I ported everything from that uh, plugin to the iPad. Um, it took me, it was a huge learning curve and I said I would never do, I, what I did was take individual samples, each sample individually um, at different velocities and brought it into Beatmaker 3. Um, and uh, because that's, I love that sound, that was my, one of my favorite orchestral sounds uh, years ago. So I brought it into Beatmaker 3. Um, I tried to reach out to the company to say, hey, can I release this to the community? Haven't heard from, heard from them yet. Maybe um, I can get reach out to them again uh, during these times and hopefully release this to the community. But I'm gonna tell you what it does. Um, We'll start with sustained strings, and what it is is um, if you play the note soft, I believe it plays a major chord, and then if you play it hard, it plays a minor chord. So this is, I'm just going to play C soft. So that's the major chord, play it hard. Minor chord, you can add, I would add reverb and stuff to it, but a lot of times I'd be playing some stuff, and I can be like... And then the different uh, octaves play different parts of the string, so... That's the low, that's the full. Um. Very like instant, like Hans Zimmer. Then you do major. Um, so the bottom octave is the full sound. The next octave is just the low uh, strings. The next octave is sort of the mids, and then the final one is the highs. And there's two types of plugins they released for that. Um, one was the free, uh, the sustained strings, and then the other one is the free orchestra, which also includes brass. Um, so I'll play that range again. This is the brass. Then this range is the low. Then the mids. the 
eyes. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I can release that to the community, but I, it took me a long time to figure this out. It took me, do, uh, I believe two days cause I, I brought them all in, it took me like four hours. Um, and it didn't work the first time and I figured out I did something wrong and, uh, figured out what I did wrong and fixed that. Um, so that's that. Um, and then finally there's, there are some honorable mentions. Um, there are some apps like Apparillo, uh, Model D, Digital D1, Synth1, Synthscaper LE, uh, Synthmaster1 that have a uh, string sounds built into them. Um, they're more of the synth string sounds. So they're, they're built on like analog synth and things like that. Um, so if you want to get into there, look for the, some orchestral sounds in there. Um, and then final, I want to leave you with one other thing. Um, it's an app called Staff Pad. You may have heard of it. Um, I, do, I do not have it because it is really expensive, um, but it is probably the, the highest quality strings you will get on the iPad will probably be from this Staff Pad app. Um, it's not AUV3 and um, to purchase the app itself is $90 and then you have to buy the sounds additionally. Um, so some of those libraries I mentioned, Spitfire Audio, I believe, maybe Cine Samples, um, some of those libraries have sounds in this app. I'm hoping that so at some point those uh, those libraries that make the, those companies that make those libraries for the computer will bring them over to the iPad um, as AUV3 apps. But within StaffPad, you can get StaffPad for $90 and then you can buy these in-app purchases such as Berlin Strings for another $100 or um, or the uh, Berlin Strings First Chairs for another $100, Cineperk Staff Pad Edition for $100, um, Berlin Harps for $70. Um, so each of those apps, you know, if you were to buy all in, you'd, you'd be spending, what, one, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred like almost a thousand, a thousand dollars just to buy all these apps. Um, but this would probably be the, the highest quality sound you would get on the iPad. And I don't b believe you can have the sounds outside of staff pad. Maybe if you use um, uh, audio bus and route some things around, uh, but I don't have it, but it is great. Um, especially if you're into orchestrating and things like that. Um, so that's all I have for you. Uh, I know it's kind of a long video, but these are some of my favorite orchestral libraries uh, on the iPad. And I would have to say my favorite one right now has been um, the, the string sounds in Pure Synth Platinum. Um, and uh, so uh, if I were to suggest one of all of these, I would say get that one first um, and then maybe uh, maybe Beat Hawk second. Um, and then uh, uh, decent samples, actually, I would say get because that's free. Um, so get decent samples that make that a definite. Um, and then uh, use the free sounds in there. If you want to buy some of the NF purchases in there, that's only $10. Um, but get the Pearson Platinum it would be my suggested one for like a, um, a range of strings and things. Uh, Pearson and Beat Hawk. That's all I have for you. Thank you for watching this. Um, and catch you all in the next video. All right. All right. Peace.